Hey guys, Northern Auto Man here. So I'm gonna be uh, installing a pump today. So I have this tank in the back of my truck, which usually takes about an hour to siphon out. So this way I'm gonna be able to attach a hose right there, and uh, this should empty it in about seven to 10 minutes. It's like 1,300 gallons per hour, and it was only 63 bucks. But anyways, um, I'm just gonna run a hose straight to my holes. I'll show you guys once I have this set up. This just sits right in the tank. And at the bottom, that's where it sucks in. So it sucks all the way down to like a quarter inch, which is perfect. That's more than I can get siphoning usually. So yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, this is gonna save me a lot of time and a lot of effort, and it's gonna be a lot more efficient. So anyways, I'll show you guys once I uh, got her going. And I'm gonna be using a, uh, where is it? A power eliminator like this. It's a 400 watt. This pump's like 200 watts, I think. So yeah, I got that from a friend because he had one. Hey guys, so I got the pump going. Look at this stream, it's great. I'm running like 100 feet of hose, so that's awesome. Uh, way easier. That's running at least four times, five times as fast as it was siphoning. It was just like dribbling out before. And uh, yeah, so these plants are doing great. Look at that one. Look how pretty those buds are. Let me just focus on that. Yeah, it's looking really pretty. That one's doing all right. I can't reach all the holes sadly, but I can reach most of them. There's another one of the plants. Two of them. That one's uh, nice and purpley. And then there's that one. Yeah, these must be the purple riders. I think his name is Dr. Autoflower. He sent me a bunch of seeds last year, and I had some left over, so those are actually one of the transplants, and it's doing really good. Yeah, this water has a bunch of nutrients in it again. Just to make sure they're getting fed good enough. I think they can use it. They didn't get burnt or nothing last time. I think they're doing pretty good as well. Tell. Just started actually, yeah, it is flowering now. God, this pump makes life so much easier. That's well, doing good as well. Pretty straight up. The branches should start growing up pretty soon. They look nice and healthy. Yeah, I'm just giving them, I like to give them all at least like three gallons of water. This is probably only like five gallons of water, but may as well. I only water them like every five days, so. Gotta make sure I give them enough. Of course, I can't really measure it right now, but. Try to do the best I can. Go ahead and wash them down quick too. Just make sure there's no bugs on them. Yeah, this one's looking really healthy too. This is a photo period. I think it started flying. Um, can't really tell. Oh yeah, it did. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I got bugs all over me. Yeah, that one just started flying. Go on to the next one in a second here. All right, this is the next one. Looking really healthy too. So yeah, all the plants are doing absolutely great healthy-wise. Um, I took down all the bottom branches off of them. And I'm gonna come out here in the next couple days with a whipper snipper so I can get rid of all this extra grass. But yeah. Giving them all nice water. You want to make sure your plants don't get dry. Like I said, I didn't water mine for about two weeks, maybe even three. Actually, yeah, it was probably like three or four weeks. And uh, it did rain quite a few times, but still, it's not a good thing to do. You want to make sure you water your plants at least once a week, if not twice. But you also want to make sure that your soil dries out as well, because if it doesn't, then uh, you have a chance for root rot, which will totally destroy your plant. Oh, all the bugs are attacking because of the freaking light of it. There's another plant. Gonna rip off the bottom branches. Yeah, this one's really nice and bushy as you can tell. Um, I'm gonna tie these all off too tonight, I think. I'm gonna do another tying off video. And what I'm gonna do is tie off every single branch. So you do that to that branch, do that to that branch, that to that branch. And then what happens is those nodes right there are gonna pop up. And what you're gonna do is create probably twice as many uh, budding sites, which is a great idea. But yeah, this plant's really healthy. As you can tell, it already has about eight 
eight budding sites and uh really good they're just exploding now like they're almost double yeah i'd say almost double the size than they were uh just 10 days ago so actually not even like a week ago so that's a really really good sign that they're gonna be probably four four feet tall at least most of them so yeah this is an example so this plant let me just take us on these branches this plant i tied off uh i think that was what eight days ago maybe but yeah i tied it off just below the top and look at how much it's grown like it's double the size it's insane like i think this was the top right there so yeah it's grown another six eight inch it's growing at least an inch a day which is really really impressive i'm really happy with that I think it's from the nutrients I'm giving it. But yeah, I'm gonna tie this one off too. Move that to about there. And as you can see, all these budding sites are starting to really grow. God, I'm gonna have a lot of bug bites. All right, I'll go to the next one. Those aren't even the biggest ones yet. Look at this guy. He's doing really good as well. They may have gotten a little too much food. As you can tell, they're kind of pointing upwards like that. Which means they may have gotten a bit too much. But I'd rather too much than too little. Um, as you can tell, they're still healthy. There's not any signs of burnage, which is all I really care about. But yeah, look at the size of this plant. Same thing, I tied this one off just below the top. And look at how much it's grown already. Like, it's insane. This one's probably gonna double in size. So, we're talking at least four, four and a half, five feet. So that's why I think they're gonna be able to get a quarter pound plants here. And then this guy, a little wash. This guy's doing really good too. This was my biggest one at the start. Photo period, I think this is an early miss, I believe. But yeah, look at that, all these budding sites. And it's just huge too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I think there's 12 budding sites plus the main cola. And then once I uh, spread this one out more and bend more branches down, it's gonna create like twice as many, so. It's gonna be a really good producing plant. Here, I'll show you that one. Whoops, I almost destroyed a plant. That would not mean good. Right, next up is this guy. As you can tell, this he did get a little bit burnt. It's not good. Um, so yeah, hopefully these nutrients don't burn it even more. I probably should have brought some fresh water as well to water it down, but oh well. If it gets a little burnt, that's all right. It's not the biggest plant ever. But yeah, it's an auto flower, so they really don't do too well with nutrients if it's too strong. Usually you have to give them like an eighth to start and then a quarter and then a half. But for this size, it is kind of dangerous with them giving it. I'm giving them like probably 60% nutrients. But oh well. We'll see how it does. Like, as you can tell, all these leaves are still healthy. Top ones aren't looking too good though, but like the ones around the bud are all fine, so. As long as those stay like that, I'm happy. And uh, yeah, this one handled them fine, as you can tell. This is another auto flower. They're growing quite a bit slower. Um, they're definitely not the best, uh, the best for size. But oh well. Also, have this auto flower right here. It looks like it got eaten by something. It's got a bunch of holes in it. Oh well, the top uh, top's all fine, so that's good. Got a bit of the bottom families there. Oh, I'm not too worried about it. it still looks pretty healthy. This is another autoflower. Again, a tiny, tiny bit burnt, but that's nothing major at all. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this one's doing really good as well. This is another autoflower. These ones I'm probably only gonna get like an ounce off of. Uh, usually the double in size ones are flowering like this, but I am gonna uh, blow stress straighten these as well. And hopefully that will return for a good uh, margin. Hey guys, it got dark really quick, so I decided um, tomorrow I'm going to do the low stress training. Probably gonna take me a good three hours because I'm gonna do all the branches on every single plant except for the really small ones. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, sorry it was so long, but I just wanted to give you a lot of information and show you most of the plants. Um, but yeah, 32 in total, it's looking good, and I'd really invest in a water pump if you are doing an outdoor grow with at least 10 or more plants, because that's a lot of water. Anyways, I'm going to go fill up with one more tank of just uh, some fresh water, 
And then I'm gonna chase each hole with uh, a gallon or two of fresh water to make sure that they don't get burnt. And also I'm gonna store some here so I don't have to keep uh, driving back to the house in town to fill up the water tank. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. I'm gonna upload a video on the low stress training part two. See you later.